So without further ado, let's go. I will show you how my setup at the screen looks like. Just let me change real quick from uh, game capture to display capture. So basically this is the solution. You see on the left hand side I have my game. In this case Watch Dogs Legion. Let's put the sound down. I don't need that right now. And if you go here to options you just uh, go to the video settings choose windowed borderless most of the games nowadays have this setting and uh, the resolution you just uh, don't obviously don't go for the widescreen one don't go for the 3 4 40 uh, 40 40 but one less so the 2560 x 40 40 if uh, if you have problems with uh, with frame drops you can obviously go even lower here to 1080p uh, but for, for me I saw that it works fine with 1440 I'm not streaming in 1440 but that doesn't matter because I like a uh, game looking good uh, as good as possible so I want to see it for me the 1440p resolution that works perfectly fine then in game when you have this setting obviously just save it and then that means that you have a, a window that you can move around you can see and when it's focused the border will disappear so you just put the window here resize it I had to play a, a, around a bit so you need to resize it until there are no you see it can be a bit fuzzy but Let's see, if it's too small, you see, you have the leather box here on top and at the bottom. So you need to resize the window until you find the correct measure where you don't get the leather boxes. Here you are. So as you can see, it's a bit fuzzy, to be honest. What works good is just press there, click with your mouse here on the bottom of the screen and just resize then the other window would be obviously streamlabs in my case or if you're using obs it this works obviously and i also have the restream bot uh, for me doing the moderation of the chat room i'm streaming to twitch and youtube as you know so restream takes care of that uh, because Streamlabs wants money for that and I'm not paying for something I can have for free somewhere else so that's another another thing to consider if you want to stream and uh, you can stream on these both channels for free basically and with the restream chat you also have the possibility to see the stream and the viewers from both channels so that's that's something else to consider and you can have everything you need here on the right hand side on your huge monitor and then what you'll need to do is here on the bottom just let me move the chat real quick uh, Quellen in German that uh, is sources in English so you just add a source that's called game capture instead of display capture so don't catch capture the whole display but just the game and there you have it you will have a full screen game in your stream but using just one monitor and uh, doing that I have everything under control while gaming and if you have a a computer that's good enough so I have a 2070 super uh, RTX graphics card and uh, i5 10th generation no problem no problem at all you won't have as you can see my my stream is smooth it's only 30 fps though i won't go 60 fps but i think uh, 30 fps it's is fine and if you need anything you can just alt tab and use your mouse and move around so the thing you need change scenes like that for example if you don't if you're half broke like i am and can't afford a stream deck just use your mouse 
or download the app on the tablet, for example. Streamlabs has an app for that where you can use your tablet as a stream deck. So, if someone tells you you can't stream with a widescreen 34 inch, you bought the wrong one, spent too much money for nothing, just tell them they're wrong because it works perfectly fine.